What's up my producer friends, I'm David with AnotherMonsterProductions.com. In this tutorial, I wanna show you a quick workflow hack that you can use within the browser of FL Studio. And basically what you can do is you can use snaps to set up your own custom icons. So then when you click that icon, you can have access to your own custom uh, personalized folders, whatever your favorite drum kits are. So that way you can access those really quickly and easily just with the click of a button. And you don't have to go scrolling through and trying to like search for your favorite folders or having to click a bunch of times to go to your favorite folder. It's just easily accessible right there. So let's go ahead and jump into FL Studio and I'll show you how to set this up. All right, so first things first, you wanna make sure your browser's open. If for some reason it's not open, that's this button up here. You can just click it to enable it. And what I'm gonna be doing is adding another one of these icons up here. So these are basically snaps. And you can see that if you go here, if you click this, we have all these different snaps to choose from. So by default, you have an all, you have a current project, and then you have an effect um, plugin database. So let me go ahead and show you how to set this up. So what you wanna do, go to this button that I just clicked, go to snap four. And so snap four is what we're gonna be using to create a new icon. All right, so then you wanna go back in here and I want to go to rename color. I wanna click this. Then you can name this whatever you want. So I'm gonna name mine AMP and other monster productions. And then you wanna to go to this icon here, click that, and we wanna assign an icon. So assigning the icon is what's actually going to have it pop up up here. If you don't assign an icon, it won't do that. So you can assign snaps without it actually popping up up here if you, if you prefer to do that for some reason. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this icon and then I can hit enter. Make sure you uh, choose a color. I am using basically just a light gray color to kind of match these here. So hit enter and then boom, I've got another one popping up here. So this one should be the same as my all because I haven't actually assigned anything to it. Then what I wanna do is I wanna go to my packs. So this is my personal packs, custom sample packs and drum kits and stuff. So what I wanna do is assign this so that when I click on this, it just automatically loads up my packs. So when this is open, make sure nothing else is open in here. And only when that's open, I can go up here to my browser options and I can go down to um, show only open folders. So click this and then boom. Now I only have my open folders in that, okay? So this is my all current project, nothing going on there, plugin database, and then my custom folder. So if I wanna take this a step further and actually create like a custom folder with only a couple drum kits that I use all the time, what I can do is go into my actual, uh, whatever folder you have your sample pack saved in on your computer. In my case, I have like a, a, a specific samples folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new folder in this folder. And we're gonna have to like set this up in a way where I have FL Studio find this folder, but we'll just name this like best drum kits. Okay, and then what I wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and open another instance of this. I'm gonna find my samples, go to my packs. So I'm gonna copy some of my favorite drum kits over into this new folder. So I'll do my monster samples and I wanna right click and then drag so that way I can copy. So I'll copy that one over there. Let's copy my Monster Samples Volume 1 over there. So I would just do this for any drum kit or folder of samples that I like really like and, and you know use all the time that I wanna add on there. So once you've done that, then you can go to your options in FL Studio, go to your file settings, and uh, right here in an op one of these open slots, you can go ahead and click this, and I can go to my PC, D, and you can find in your computer whatever folder you just created. Uh, so mine is in samples and then best drum kits. So while that's highlighted the best drum kits, I'm gonna click okay, that shows up. And then let me exit out of that. Let me go back to my all. So now I have best drum kits here. So now I can go into a new snap. We're gonna repeat the process again. So I've got my new snap open. I'm gonna to go to best drum kits, make sure this is only highlighted, go into my browser options, show only open folders. Now only this folder is open. I can go ahead and name this, rename color. I'll name this best drum kits. And I wanna make sure that I assign a new icon for it and then enter and then boom. So now I've got a couple 
custom icons there to choose from. Now, let's say I wanna get rid of one of these icons or one of the default ones. What I can do is just go back in here, make sure that whichever one I wanna get rid of is highlighted, and then go back into rename color. I can just get rid of the name, get rid of the icon, go to reset, hit that little X, and then enter, and then boom, that's gone. So while I'm still in this, what I'd wanna do, because you can see I'm still, I still have it, I would go back into my browser options and then I would uncheck the show only folder. So then it goes back to the default settings of just showing everything. So that's about it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do have a Discord server, which you can join. Uh, we're doing weekly Q and A's every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And then also we have like challenges in there. There's a place where you can post music for feedback. Uh, and it's just a nice community to come hang out. So join the Discord if you're interested. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description of this video if you guys want to join the Discord server and I'll see you in the next video. In the description of this video. What are you doing? Recording a video. I thought you were editing. I was, but the video audio quality is terrible. Here, can, I'm, I'm finishing this up. Can you just like shut the door for a second? I'll be right out. Okay.